unach ekach. In Gaelic, we usually put uh, the definite article before it, which is a n t hyphen, and say un thunach ekach. It means the gapped or notched mountain. Well, Glencoe is arguably Scotland's most scenic glen, and it's here we're doing a ridge walk between two Munros. It's mainland Britain's narrowest ridge, and it's called the Anach Eich. Ah! It is an extremely dangerous ridge, and that's why you shouldn't be attempting it too early on in your Munro career. A slip up there is no laughing matter, and a lot of people have been killed. In fact, I've been saving this for a special occasion, uh, and this is going to be it. What better occasion than having a burly, handsome film crew with me? The National Trust for Scotland own the whole of Glencoe and, of course, the Ah! And they very sensibly have put up this sign warning you that once you're up there on the ridge, there's no way off until the very end. A bit like this show, really. Glencoe is one of the most popular and busy areas in Scotland for climbers and walkers, and because of its difficulties, the Anachigach makes a good transition for most Munro baggers between simple walking and tricky exposed scrambling. Well, we're more than halfway up Amboddach, the first top. It's not the Munro, but it's where we first see the full view of the ridge. It's about 2,000 feet, and we've gained height very quickly. It's only taken us about an hour from the car park. You get a fantastic view from up here. You can see all the way down Glencoe and right across to the west. This is our route. The tops we'll be doing are marked in blue and the Munros are marked in white. Like most linear ridge walks, you'll finish some miles down the road from where you started, so arrange a lift back or time it with public transport. Well, just below the Cairn of Ambodach is where all the views that make you go <gasps> start, including this one, a jutting piece of rock called the Chancellor. I'm not going in that, so don't even think about it. Now, if the ridge ahead frightens you, don't forget you can do both Munro's as single peaks. In fact, you can come up as far as Ambodach, a simple top, and still have a fantastic day out that involves a good bit of leg muscle. All the views here you will ever need. Behind me, the Mamors, and beyond that, Ben Nevis. Pointy me one is Stob Ban, and Scoot of Ain is there. Scoot of Ain was my 50th Munro, incidentally. Probably find that not at all interesting. Over here is Rannoch Moor, the Blackwater Reservoir. Uh, beyond that, Shehalion. Pointy little fellow, isn't he? He gets everywhere. You can see Shehalion from practically everywhere. Over here is Bukalet of Moor. Bukalet of Moor. Thank you. The Bidian Range. And all the way across to the west here at Balahulish is uh, Ben Vare. And you can actually see the uh, Glenfinnan Hills beyond that. But what we can really see is the ridge we are about to do. scrambling to get to the Monroe over there and you might find it surprising that people who do Monroes like myself sometimes suffer from vertigo which I do and which I'm suffering from a little bit now. I'm not terribly sure how I'm going to feel about this piece but I do have a healthy bit of terror in my stomach. I'm going down there and I might be some time.
Well, here we are at the top of the first Munro at long last. That last piece involved a bit of rock scrambling and uh, I'm afraid I got a bit freaked out, took my rucksack off, uh, which resulted in a very bad row from our man with the beard, researcher Ross. So there's a lesson, don't take your rucksack off, it isn't worth the hassle. This is called Mail Jerig, it means Red Hill. It's 3,118 feet. Of course, some people think it shouldn't be called the Red Hill. They think it should be called Hill of the Brown Underpants. And when you see the ridge behind me, we still have to go. I think you'll know why, dear viewer. We've been very lucky today though, A because the weather's been great, there's not much wind and there's sun, and B because we've only met one other party of people. Apparently if you do the Anakigig ah! at the weekend, you can sometimes queue to get over these pinnacles because the way is so narrow. Anyway, I am breathing very hard, the knot of fear in my stomach is tightening and I'm going to attempt them. This is the narrowest section of the ridge which goes over and round these two notorious pinnacles. <laughs> I need my researcher, I need the man <laughs> with the beard. second Munro at the end of this ridge walk. It's Skurnam Fini or Skurnam Fin or <laughs> depending how you pronounce it. I'm not terribly sure what the accurate pronunciation is. It's 3,168 feet and this has been a magnificent ridge. I can really recommend it. Fear and terror aside, just make sure you've got somebody with a beard alongside you to keep you right. We started out uh, a bit late today because the weather was very poor this morning but we're being rewarded now with a magnificent sunset across Loch Leven. and we can see the Balhulish Bridge uh, and the mountains beyond, it's wonderful. I don't care what you have to go through to get up somewhere like this, but when you have a view like the one behind me, everything is worthwhile and your spirits soar. Next week, the Monroe Show crosses water to get to a Monroe. Ben Moore on the beautiful island of Mull. And we retrace our steps back to Glencoe to ascend the ever-popular and stunningly beautiful Bucholet of Moore.